Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. In this video, I'm trying to fix or beautify or return to the original shape this 2009 Jetta Wagon, which suffers like every single Jetta of this generation of peeling the paint from these door pillars. Maybe let's hop on the other side. So basically if you walk on the street, I look anywhere, this is always peeling off. And it's not a gloss paint, it's kind of matte. I did choose semi-gloss because I wasn't sure is it matte. Really? It didn't feel exactly matte. So I chosen semi-gloss and I'm trying to fix that. You barely see it here, but you still see it. You see the remnants? I should have shown it to you before I touched it. It's my bad. So it was down here. I will be selling this vehicle sooner or later and buying another project and fun car. So I'm trying to use this semi-gloss and fix this problem. Uh, I did very, very tiny touch to it. It was barely like, like a little coat like this. And this, you just saw the second one. So basically I'm trying to get rid of that gray spot, which was here, making it super ugly. Anytime I was walking to the car. Yeah, and that's it. I don't want the paint to run. So I'm just careful. Now I will wait another five minutes and we will continue. And I checked on eBay and on the Amazon. I check all kinds of sources. You could buy chrome pieces for it. I had it on 2007 Jetta, which I bought in the past from auction. It had glued. There were silver metallic chrome pieces which were glued on these areas but somebody who makes that is crazy the edges was so sharp you will cut yourself on it anytime i open my door the driver's door and then you are grabbing the door on the side and so on i thought i will cut my fingers so i will definitely recommend anybody to buy those chromes will it look good with this trim most likely it will make sense that jetta was gray actually looked pretty good it was extremely dangerous uh, i peeled it off it was a lot of work the tape on the back was very good it was holding good hard to remove but i really really didn't like that because the possibility of cut uh, yourself so i'm not going for that the ones which are sold on eBay, they are a gloss. That means I will have to redo every single door, which I didn't want to. I want to try some easy way, the simplest way. This paint I just showed you, it's nine bucks with a tax. So I hope I did choose the correct grade or luster right if it's not too shiny or not shiny enough this we will see that's what i want to share with you and let's continue with this i keep approximately five minutes between the layers i highly recommend everybody use the as thin layers as possible because this is vertical so you don't want to have any runouts obviously the paint running down Always make sure you keep shaking the paint. It's very important. Now let's do another one. Approximately thin coast, five minutes between the coats. And that's it. That's it. That will definitely not cause paint to run from the top to the bottom. Did I mention that every Jetta of this generation has the same problem? Well, this is exactly what I'm fixing right now on mine, right? This is how it looks, the peel. 
and I walk to another one, another hundred yards, and this one is proof I'm wrong. This one actually is completely good. Okay, almost every Jetta of this generation has that. Well, back to the work, back to the shop. After another five minutes, let's try another layer. Nice. Many people will tell you when you paint the small areas and you have the masking tape around them, remove it when it's still wet because you will not accidentally peel off entire chunk of the paint which will dry on the masking tape. Does it make sense? Now when it's wet, it can separate. The masking tape can separate where it was basically in direct contact with the paint. If it dries to the hard surface, you might rip off chunk of paint from the area you have been painting. So also when it's wet, make sure the masking paper doesn't fall on it and make some imperfections. So, this is what I do, this is what I learned in the past. I'm not a professional painter, so other people might tell you different way, that's fine. Just sharing progress on this vehicle because I filmed most of the stuff what I did to this on this channel. Because of that, I'm trying to entertain you and maybe share the way, one of the ways, how to fix this common problem on these Volkswagen Jettas. You will see if I did the good masking job. I didn't have a blue masking tape which will be better obviously because this is old duct tape which was sitting around. So I used what I had. I want to do it this afternoon and you will be a judge of the result. I will show you details. Obviously I made a big mistake for this video not to filming how bad it was before I started. I didn't even think about filming it. Then I realized it might be helpful to someone. So unfortunately, my apologies to you. You cannot see that huge spot which was here on the bottom. It was light gray. So anytime you walk towards to the vehicle, it was disgusting, very ugly spot from very far visible. Now I can see the difference. This is faded matte. I will not touch it and this is way more glossy it was semi gloss learning for the future if you want to do that I will use matte I will not go the way semi gloss however if you will see my face right now I'm happy this is huge improvement this will help with resale not only that the new owner and me starting today will enjoy this vehicle way more. This is really cool and it looks almost perfect to me. And here very quick walk around to see the results of that quick masking job. You can see the difference. As I said, I wish I filmed it before. Was that super ugly gray spot right there that's gone and in generally I'm happy with the results so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find this helpful maybe it will help you to make your own decision fix your own peeling Jetta unless you are the lucky one you have the one which doesn't peel Thank you for watching. If you like that video, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. 
See you later, my friend.